hello everyone welcome to the channel so in today's video we will see and learn how to run c++ program in mac or i would say in vs code so to run a c++ program in visual studio code we actually require some of the usual extensions and we are going to next install those extension and we will then work it out and run our C++ program in Visual Studio Code. So this way basically works for both Apple Silicon and Apple Intel processor. So as I'm using Apple Silicon based processor and I have also tried the same on Apple Intel base. So it will work on both of the processors. The second thing is we need to install first some useful extension before going to run in the visual studio code so if you haven't installed the visual studio code in your mac then i will be providing the video url in the description box and you can see my vs code video and first try and install that software so after installing the vs code software we need to click on the left hand side of our vs code and just click on this extensions so we can see extensions list are open up here next we need to search for c slash c plus plus extension and we see the first one that comes up we need to install this extension this has been validated by microsoft itself and provided by microsoft so we are going to install this extension so we need to click on this extension and it will automatically be installed probably in few seconds after this we need to install one code runner basically to run our c++ program so the code runner is this one so i have already installed this code runner so you can basically search for this code runner that has 26 million you know downloads and basically you can uh, install this extension so after installing the two extension now i will be opening terminal to show you one more thing that also you need to you know run our c++ program so i will be searching for one thing on my system so i'm writing clang space hyphen hyphen version so yes so i have installed and this clang not installed basically this comes with the xcode so the clang tool basically is a front-end compiler tool that we basically use to compile the programming languages such as c c plus plus objective c plus plus and objective c into the machine code and you know clang is also used as a compiler for frameworks like open m open cln random script okay so these render script open cln open mp these frameworks basically also use this clang so this clang basically comes up in mac with the xcode itself so what you need to do is you need to install the xcode command line tool so for that the command is xcode select space hyphen hyphen install so i'm not going to install this because i have already installed the clang through xcode itself so through this command you can basically install the clang in your mac os okay so next moving forward after installing the these two extensions c c plus plus and code runner we can move forward towards running our first c plus plus program in mac so i will be creating a dummy file up here and i will be naming it as hello.cpp okay and i will start writing my program so first hash include io stream next inside main i will be writing uh, i will be writing just hello world c out and return zero okay so to run this program basically we need to go to the right hand side and we can see this a run button is there and we need to just click on this prompt so it gives us the option to debug also to run code also and 
we can also you know debug these C C plus plus code through this tool. But I am going to run this code as of now and to check my output whether or not the program of C plus plus is running on my machine or not. So we can see this program is running and we can see the output hello world is running and hello world is printed uh, not hello world the program name is uh, hello so i've created the hello file and we can see one more file has been created here this hello so this is the compiled file that uh, has been created when i you know executed my program so in this way we can install the c plus plus extensions in our VS code and do the C++ programming in our Mac OS machine. So that's it for today guys. Thank you. If you do have any query or question, do comment and I will be happy to help.